This week, the housemates partied in the Big Brother house. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! But there's one room where you can always cry if you want to. I'm just sick, Big Brother. I feel like I want to go home. <sighs> the diary room. Thursday, day 51, 8.26pm. Chanel, Liam and Charlie are in the bedroom. Ah, I want to share all my love. Oh, we Shut up Big your mama, face. Did you see that? It's a pizza doo Shut up in your face. <laughs> this week, Jerry and Nikki face a public vote. Jerry and Brian are in the garden. I know Big Brothers always says, enjoy, enjoy, it could be your last day, blah, 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 Jerry. But uh, I just don't enjoy because, you know, for example, I want to do some, some washing. I thought, what's the point? I'm not going to send any hot girls tomorrow. I want some hot girls. Uh, dang, do we know if somebody some will dang walk girls. tomorrow? Well, I don't know names. I just rage. want it. I'm, it's wishful thinking. I think I've done many, many things. Is, is Big Brother. Could Brian come to the diary room? Ooh, Brian. I called early, he didn't let me in. Could Brian please come to the diary room? Yeah. Hello, my brother. Hello, Brian. Brian, Big Brother noticed you rang the diary room door earlier and Big Brother wanted to let you know that Big Brother appreciates your patience and Big Brother is ready to talk to you now. <laughs> Sorry if I've been dropping. <laughs> but I was, it was I, I called really because um, it was Liam's birthday tomorrow and we were just obviously to see. Obviously not going to say if he's going to do anything or not, but obviously we should just come and ask that he do something for his birthday. Because, well, I got something for my birthday. Charlie got something for hers, the twins got something for theirs, and Nikki got a party hat and whatever. But I want to see if you do anything good for his birthday tomorrow. So, like one for he can have a party and two, so I can get pissed on all at a party with music. <laughs> but no, it's mainly for his birthday. Now. He don't really drink cider, so I'm not, I don't think he'd really want cider more than anything would want beer, I reckon. But yeah, I think that's what he'd want for his birthday. Oh, and I was requesting hot girls for game. Game girls as well. So if you're gonna bring any other really hot girls who like drinking cider and really game for stuff, that would come in handy for Liam and all because he ain't got a like, girlfriend in the house or anything or a girl that he's hooking up with. So if you brought in a new, really hot, no two really hot housemates in for both of us, that would do him well and do me as well and all because we'd have two new, because that bed can fit five of us. So it'd be me, Liam, Jerry and the two hot n new girls. So yeah. Brian, to confirm, Big Brother has noted your request for music, for booze. That's for Liam. Not cider, for Liam's birthday. Well, actually, you can be a bit of cider for and me. And two game girls who like drinking cider. Yes. So, so thank you, Big Brother. Yeah, that's about it, really, Big Brother. Twelve or seven a.m. Chanel and Jerry are by the dining table. If I stay tomorrow, many things will be different. Did you, did you, did you hear me? What I was saying? In my life, Charlie, I've hardly ever met somebody so down to earth and grounded. Yeah, he's like, and she, was like she was like, she said, do you think so? I said, yes, Charlie, trust me. And I left, I said, let me go to the dining room. And I left, I was like... <laughs> Some of the housemates are in the bedroom. Chanel and Jerry are going to make a flat tonight. No, it's nice, like, I suppose. <sighs> living with everyone like this, it'd be nice to see you in small doses. It's done about living with you. I can't oh, I know. I'm going to laugh. Exactly, exactly. Jerry and Chanel come to the diary room. <laughs> Even though I'm up for eviction tomorrow, mm -hmm. and because I am and I might go, mm -hmm. we took a very, very important decision that we have been thinking, we've been, you know, it's been around our brains for a couple of days. We thought 
that we are going to be getting a, a new flat together! together. <laughs> <laughs> so from housemates, we're going to become flatmates in the real world. Because you know, <laughs> this girl does have the occasional fit, but you see, in the outside world, you can go for a walk. Exactly. With Without a puppy! puppy. <laughs> <laughs> I did fish. want a small cream one and a small brown one, which would be named consecutively Champagne and Truffles. However, due to the fact that I don't know how to take care of a dog and I would have to learn with one dog rather than throwing myself in at the deep end and getting two, I'm going to just get either Champagne or Truffles at first, a small little miniature. I don't know what type because I don't know any types really. And we're going to take it for walks, aren't we? Okay, I'm saying this now. I love, I love dogs. I love all animals. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I don't want the responsibility to have one on my own yet. But I will have one. But she will, so I'm more than happy to look after it if Chanel decides to go for 20 days in Spain or go to her parents for the weekend. I'm, I'm, mm -hmm. I want to look after it, but I don't want it to be mine. Yeah. Jerry, yeah. how do you feel about handling Chanel's puppies? <laughs> One fifteen a.m. Some of the housemates are in the bedroom. Is anyone mind loving me? Not sure or not actually gone across that stage where they don't know what to do. Oh, I, went, I went to that stage about a month ago, which I is why I don't care for going next week. Place, just, I'm just walking around this place just like a madman. Go to the caravan. It's not such a bad idea. Cool in there, chilling there. Lost my cover. Cover. What a haircut, man. We all need one of them. What? What? This is Big Brother. Will Nicky come to the diary room? Oh man. They like you tonight. That's cool in my pajamas. Liam, Brian, Amanda, oh. and Sam are in the pool. <laughs> Sam, have you ever touched the before? Um, Liam. No, I mean, like, outside the people rats. Nope. Have you had a fight with anyone? Never! Hi, big brother. Sorry, I'm in my pyjamas, as you know. You always call me. At least this time I haven't taken my makeup off yet. Cringe! I'm just gonna... Hang on, I just need to put my hair down so it covers my boots up a little bit. Hang on, two seconds. Before. Hello, Nikki. Hello, hang on, hang on. Ah! <sighs> I don't feel so naked now. How's your day been? Cool, fine, thank you. It's been a good last day, big brother. Nikki, you refer to this being your last day in the house. Well, Are yeah. you convinced that you're leaving? Um. And how do you feel about that? Um, I'm not nervous. I'm quite excited, actually. It's quite, it's, in a weird way, it's quite a buzz. And I get to wear my dress. Oh, yes. Oh, brother, my dress is really nice. Really nice. I don't know what shoes to wear, though. I'd either go with my black ones with the um, bow, or my celebrity shoes. Well, they're not really celebrity shoes, I'll just call them celebrity shoes because they're really, like, blingy. But they might be a bit too much. Big Brother is sure either pair will look great. No, Big Brother. Oh, I'm sorry. You don't understand this shoe dilemma. I'm sorry to say this, but I don't know if it's just because you're a man. I'm sure you're very nice. Well, well, I don't know. Because most men are bastards. But, uh, anyway, about the shoes. Um, I don't think you understand. In fact, I need to go and give this some serious consideration. I need to coordinate my makeup and my nail varnish. <clears throat> my eyeshadow. I can't wear my fringe down either. I don't know what to do with my hair. Sam's going to curl it for me. But look, what's happened to my fringe? Oh, hang on, look at this. Look, I can't wear my fringe down now because look, I can't see now. Hang on. I actually can't see. One forty-four a.m. Most of the housemates are in the bedroom. Oh, happy birthday! Cheers. Hello, happy birthday! Happy birthday! I hope it's a good one. I'm sure it will be. Janet, we use. Not getting emotional, are you? Yeah. 
No, I no. Like it. Well, why is it like the water in? Ziggy, huh? Ziggy cool. Green. During the past four minutes, Ziggy has pressed the diary room door button five times. Ziggy. Hi, mate. Can you tell Big Brother what the protocol is for coming to the diary room? Press it once. And then? And then wait. Siggy, Big Brother suggests that you practice this protocol now. No worries. You're free to leave the diary room. Can I not speak? Can I not speak? Siggy, Big Brother suggests that you practice this protocol now. Yeah. So that you make sure that you do it in future. Oh, I want to ask for some makeup for my eviction. Go on, go on, Emma. Were you told Just... off? What? Were you told off? Hold it. Oh dear. Why? Tell us. I can't be asked going to. No, no, you pull up. It wouldn't be funny. Jerry. Hello again. Sorry. Are you aware of what the diary room protocol is? Uh, yeah, I press the thing and I get in. Yeah, and if it's green, you get in. Jerry, you did not press the thing. Uh, Ziggy did, but he said you can go. Jerry, Big Brother suggests that you practice the diary room protocol now. Okay, I'll do it. You're free to leave the diary room. <laughs> You are right there? No, they said I should practice the diary room protocol. And then you press it. Jerry's just had to come out again. He stood there now. He's done it. No, he's just waiting outside now. It's green, he's now going in. Voila! Hello, Jerry. Hello again. Uh, just a small request, I mean, it will take two seconds. Um, I would love it if you give me one of those. I had three with me, and it's called Honey Milk Cream Tart Face Powder. Because this is finished, almost. And I would like to have some from my eviction. Left. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Jerry. I know it's harsh, but um, it's part of the game, isn't it? But it won't, it won't affect me. <laughs> Friday, day 52, 3.53 p.m. Brian is in the garden. Now out of this rain in my never know that we're still at each other. You can stand under my umbrella. You can stand under my umbrella, Ella, Ella, hey, 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 under my umbrella, Ella, Ella, hey, hey, hey. Today is Liam's birthday. Chanel, Ziggy, Liam, and Jerry are in the bedroom. Oh, Monday. You can do this yeah, with cocks. Come, in, you you come and touch these. <laughs> I've always had It's been working out. I've had them since I've been here, you haven't noticed. Prod. It's put on a little bit of weight. Prod, people really prod, what are you um I think you're the you're the sex deviant. Blatant sex deviant. Can we take them out now? No. Okay. That's funny. It's not as funny as me trying to can you chuck me one so, so I can test if it's like a bicep? Oh. I'm being slapped by a tit. <laughs> It'll be good, wouldn't it? Have, it's like silicone. It's so funny. Oh, that's funny. Hmm. This is Liam's big brother. Will one housemate come to the diary room? 
Do you want to go? Oh, he's gone now. Filthy as usual. Oops. What is this? Take that. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Carol. Big Brother has noticed that the weather is not particularly good today. Yeah. As a consolation, Big Brother is providing housemates with two games to play. Right. Big Brother has also provided housemates with warm milk and cookies to snack on. Lovely. Big Brother suggests that you take these treats back into the house with you and enjoy them. Thank you very much. I'm sure it'd be great for Liam's birthday. Five sixteen p.m. Amanda, Liam, and Sam are at the dining table. Oh yes. <laughs> Don't you join in? <laughs> Charlie and Ziggy are in the garden. The hardest bit is the, uh, the next two days I find the hardest. What do you mean? The next two days, Saturday and Sunday are hard. Yeah, I they find are. Them, I find yeah. them quiet. Yeah. Not the shit out of here. Mm. Get a This is Big Brother. Would Liam come to the dining room? I'll probably get wrong for Ah oh, my uncle. Can't lose it. Get probably get it. wrong for being such a spoil sport. And a flipping sore loser. Ready? Hello Liam, how are you? I'm alright, Connie, excellent. Uh, just been losing against Sam, which has done me head in, but good, excellent. Why are you losing? Because I'm not very good at games, but I'm very competitive. Uh, plus, I think Sam might have cheated quite a bit. She's just a jammy little git. I hate losing. I just want to throw it down and say a crap game anyway. Don't even like playing it. Operation's a nightmare, because working with chainsaws and things gives you, like, mild hand-arm vibration syndrome, so you can... <laughs> see, hands are shaking like a shitting dog when you're trying to get in at stuff. Hey, I'm a loser of this game. <laughs> 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 Did you tell Liam I lost it? Tell Liam I lost it. It makes us feel frustrated. Unnervingly aggressive. Um, and it makes us want to give the game back in to the diary room and say that Big Brother's told us to hand all the games in and nobody else plays because you're all cheats and Liam wins. Liam? Yeah, hold on. You won. I lost. Yes! Yes! I won. No windows for me tomorrow. Well done. Cheers, buddy. 7.17 p.m. Ziggy is at the dining table. Honest, decent. Right, fine, Tracy, Nikki, and Charlie are in the garden. Got it. thinking that we'll be fine by the It's nervous, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is. Fucking hell. I remember me last week, I was sitting there fucking shitting myself. Yeah. It is a sketchy moment, but it's a buzz. See your friends and family in it if you do, Gee. I know. You know what I mean? Just think like that. Yeah. I'm fine, side, I'm not shitting my... Oh, no, well, I am a bit, I'm just... On the flip side, you'd be sucking with us nutters, so... <laughs> it's cool either way. Either way, yeah, you know either what I mean? Way. Either way, it's cool. You know it. Ziggy comes to the diary room. I'd like to talk to you about um, here. Here in general is where we are. Um, we're eight... We're, we're kind of seven weeks and a bit in. Um, I don't know if it's normal, but I, I'm waking up on a daily basis in here and I'm wanting to leave. Um, and I really don't know if that's normal or not. But I just don't feel like I fit in, if you understand what I mean. And I feel like sometimes I'm trying to enjoy myself when I'm not actually really enjoying myself. 
I want to be nominated and I want to go, but that's not a good feeling because I shouldn't feel like that because it's, it's... Do you understand? I'll be honest, I'm not, not really that happy, but um, I'm thinking, do I just slug it out and stuff like that? But yeah, I'm, I'm not really happy at all, to be honest. And there's some people in here who, who, who just don't feel that way. And they, they wake up every day and they are just ecstatic. And I, I'm looking at them and, and I'm thinking, why am I not like that? You know, for instance, the twins, you know. There's not one day they've walked around and gone, oh, I'm, you know, and uh, I would just love some of that, really. Ten or one p.m. Nikki, you have to enjoy it. Good luck, darling, all right? I'll see you on the outside, all right? Oh, God, you lot. You'll be all right. Thank you. 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 Oh, God, hold on my dress, my dress. Get a few people said that. Thank you. 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 Ten forty three PM. It's been forty one minutes since Nikki was evicted from the Big Brother house. Charlie and Tracy are at the dining table. So Nick did. She was right. She did go on her first real eviction then. Bless her. That's yeah. Right. She done fucking good. She done five weeks, fifth evictees, back. Five weeks? Yeah, she done, yeah. you know, fifth Seven evictee. weeks she's done it, she? Yeah, she done, you know, it's fifth person to be evicted. And she can hold her head up fucking high, man. You know what I mean? She can. She can hold her head up high. Yeah, oh dear. Definitely, bless her. Brian and Ziggy are in the kitchen. At the moment, it's a bit of a psychological drama. Yeah. You can watch. This is, oh, I like the fact that I don't know. I don't know. You just have to look to see that the dynamics at the moment is weird. Um, even more apparent now. Nikki's gone. Yeah, very much. So. Things have changed big time. I think. I don't think Nikki was bad. She wasn't was a bad person. She wasn't a bad person. She was far from. Tracy comes to the dairy room. It's really sad, man. I was proper gutted. Really good. It's all good. She's, she's home with her family. That'll be. She'll be sadly missed by me, definitely. Were you surprised by the result, Tracy? Yeah, I was. Proper surprised. There's maybe because I, you know, I liked her so much. So you don't want to think otherwise, do you? Really? So it's a head thing. Yeah, I was shocked. How big of a loss, personally, is it to have Nikki no longer in the house with you, Tracy? A big loss, because we, we had a lot of chats together. We did. A lot of big chats. Yes, because I won't have that anymore and I won't see a smile and a laugh, her ways. So harsh. I know it's harsh, but um, it's part of the game, isn't it? But it won't, it won't affect me <laughs> like that. It'll be, still be traced, no worries. But it's the initial shock of the night that, you know, I'll still carry on. I should expect me to. <laughs> so that's for Nick as well as for me now. <laughs> it's all good in the hood, no worries. It's all good in the hood. I don't mean it harsh, but there is a group like the Zig, the twins, Chanel, Brian and Lee, and they're all more leaning to each other. I think me and Charlie are just a couple of steps away from that, which is fine with me because I'm me anyway. I'm Trace, I'm in here as an individual. I don't need to follow anyone's group, anyone's crowd. And Charlie should realise that in herself, man, because she's an individual in it. We all are, but, uh, but Charlie should realise that in herself. We'll stick together. We're strong. <laughs> we'll have to. <laughs> It's good, but the dynamics will change because certain people will get more close and more tight knit. They'll be looking at me as they say, "Oh, you know, Tracy's lost a mate." Da da da. They think they can see me crumble, and that won't happen. Cause it won't, I won't suffer like that. Cause I've lost her. I know that, but it's not going to destroy my time in this house. I come here alone. <laughs> Just I've made a few major friends in here. Doesn't mean I'm still not going to carry on. So people won't see me crumble. They won't. I'm not that person. I'm strong in here. I know I am, and I will be, I'll be carrying on like that, so if they think I'm just going to become a 
A lonely person in here, they've got nothing coming, man. Bring it on. Friday, day 52, 10.59pm. Earlier tonight, Nikki became the fifth housemate to be evicted from the Big Brother house. Some of the housemates are at the sofas. Well, I think Nikki was quite prominent in the early days before you guys came in because there was constant rows over food and control and... So how like come she was never up? Oh, she, she was never up for eviction. Well, and, uh, no. So probably, yeah. No, she would never nominate. But she always, she always had a circle of people, a circle around, of people her, yeah. around her, and it was all moving underground. Thing when Laura left, that's because it was four of them in the end. It was Laura left, and now Nick is gone. And they, I think the they group were shocked. Has, you know, I think, they, I, I there's think no those group people now. were there's shocked that Laura left. <laughs> Earlier, Charlie heard voices shout, get Charlie out, over the garden wall. Just keep listening, they do do it. Why can't we see someone else's name? Do you reckon I'm having that much of an impact on people, Tracy? Maybe. Look at it that way, flip side. Why? That's a good thing, mate. No. It's just the crowd. Shall I even even bother, don't I? No. I just you're, hard, you're a hard, strong woman. Sam and Amanda come to the diary room. Hello? Mm. Hello? Hello, Amanda. Hello, Sam. Hi. How are you both? Dead upset, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Can't believe Nick is gone. It's so weird. So let's get on with beef of him. Yeah, we got on with beef of him. So he was dead happy for Jerry, but then, like, dead upset that Nicky went, because, I don't know. Weird. And I can't believe if she got booed. That's so mean or you ever booed her. I know. She's not even, dad dad me. She hadn't done nothing wrong to get booed. Oh, it was quite shocking when we heard the crowd, wasn't it? Yeah. All the crowd just shouting, get Charlie out. I think she's getting a bit worried. It's so weird though because she was telling us that all the crowd crowd people loved her and everything and all that. And um now but I now I don't know, I think she might be feeling a bit shocked and upset and stuff, but like, I just can't believe it at all. But, brother, you know it's Liam's birthday? Yes. Can we request some alcohol, or please? A party or something? Please, Come please, on. because everyone's so down and upset. And out of everyone. And, and it's so mean because it's Liam's birthday and everyone's like, yes. Mm. Yeah. So we need alcohol so then we can play party um, games. He's not expecting nothing, which is really sweet. Yeah, because everyone normally Because on our birthday, we were expecting things. Like, we were he's not. Things. So that's even nicer. So give him something. Surprising, alcohol. big brother. Amanda and Sam, yeah. your request for alcohol has been noted. Thank you. I so hope you do you do give him some alcohol cause and me. Like it's his birthday, deserves it, and he's twenty three, and I think he's feeling a bit depressed because twenty three. That's not even old. But and he's had a depressing birthday, really, having it on a new vacation night. That's really not a good day to have a birthday on. Mm. So we need alcohol. Twelve oh six a.m. What? Big Brother has gathered the housemates in the bedroom. Oh, For Liam's birthday, Big Brother has provided the housemates with a pool table. Oh, that's brilliant. Game pool, first game, sir. Oh, I can play snooker. I'm used to it. Never played pool in my life. I think I've played once with a lesbian fan. I can't hold the thing. Yeah, I think I'm a bit good at it. Cheesy. Oh, Lee! Don't worry, Lee. I can't play film. This is Big Brother, by the way. Good Liam, comes to the diary room. Woo! You've got both. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, that's amazing. I'm not bad. I think what everyone you have to hit. Because I'm a pop, I'm a pop. Hello, Liam. Hello, buddy. You all right? Happy birthday. Cheers. Thanks very much. Thanks for the pool table. Excellent. Just what I wanted. How does it feel to be 23 years old? <sighs> feels funny. It feels strange. Um, 23. Seems like only yesterday I was 22. I'm just saying that. I, I, I never even got used to being 22. I still feel like I'm 19. Um, but this year, I'm going to turn over a new leaf and become mature. Nah, probably not. I'll probably still uh, still be the same. Um, 
Ah, oh, yes. Can I have a look in this basket? Liam, on the floor is a party hamper, <laughs> which Big Brother has provided for you. Yes! This is a birthday hamper for you to share with your fellow housemates if you choose. Yeah, choose. Thanks very much. It contains booze, party paraphernalia, and the pool cues to use with the pool table you requested, which Big Brother has provided for your birthday. Yes, thanks very much. Have a good one, Liam. Cheers, buddy. You're free to leave the diary room. Ta. Twelve forty-two a.m. This angle. Yeah, you can do it there, or you can go, come Mandy. Over what, here. Do I do it? Well, let's go in. If I just yeah, just, I just here. Not too hard. Hey! Oh! Not too hard. Yeah. Not too Dad. hard. It's the white balls we've got. All right, end. Is it? Mandy. Yeah. Tracy, Charlie and Brian are in the garden, talking about Nikki's eviction. What did you hear when she went out? Did you hear cheers? I heard a mix. I really did, I must I didn't admit. hear one of you. Well, yeah, I did. She hasn't done anything to be hated, though, really, has she? That's mm. what makes that make sense. But then that's just that crowd, Do you know what I mean? It? It's Which not is that... why I don't understand why people but, boo. But, but again, they thought it would like Nikki probably wouldn't come down to people for evictions, what should I say? Yeah. And it's the whole nation voting as well. But know. it's stupid, really. Yeah, but what I mean I is it's stupid that they boo people that ain't really done nothing. Do you understand? So right, right. right. Jerry comes to the diary room. Hello, big brother. Your Greek boy survived eviction. Wow. Jerry, how does it make you feel to know that you've survived eviction and won the public vote? It's one of, I've just said to Big Brother before, it's one of the main reasons uh, I came for this experience. I wanted at least once to, I hope I don't get addicted to it because it's not going to last for a long time, but it's one of those things that you have to experience. You know, from now on I can always go to discos and pool boys by saying, hey, my name is Jerry and I have survived eviction in Big Brother. You know, this is such a cool thing. I'm, I'm, I'm a happy bundle. If I, if I could, if I could go outside and start thanking everybody who wanted, you know, I don't know what the, the text or phone or whatever they do, if I could thank them personally, thank you so much for keeping the Greek inside the house, I, I would have done it. I would have, you know, spent, you know, an entire year thanking people because I, I'm... I'm, I'm 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 very proud of them, not proud of me. I'm just who I am. But it seems some people liked me. What's that? Oh. They're dancing. I'm missing the dance. Who cares? Um, music is so rare in this house that we every opportunity to listen to music. Oh, listen to them! Oh my goodness, Big Brother, I love this song. It's Shakira Beyonce. I have to go. I'm sorry. This is impossible to resist. I have to go. Open the door. Jerry, the diary room door is I, now open. I love Shakira. I love Shakira. Thank you. Two forty a.m. Chanel and Ziggy are in the bedroom. Us is a reason why I've stayed here so long. I'm, I'm missing so many things on the outside. I'm hearing some people and I want to pull my hair out. And I just, you know, you have to understand that. Listen, whilst we're talking, the most irrelevant row is probably going on in the background. You know? I, if I could put myself in Nikki's place tonight, I really would have. He's so proud that he stays over Nikki. Charlie's a good psychiatrist and talk Me, about your like, fears and insecurity. You're the one who got evicted, not me. Yeah. Who you got, got evicted? evicted? You did from your house. I got evicted. Poor thing. And you Today. think Chanel's really going to rent with you? Open I'm your eyes. I'm still here. Smell the coffee. I'm still here. You're, you know. 
Jerry. You've never faced eviction. I'm not. I didn't get Mother. evicted, Charlie. Your friend Nikki if I'm got a evicted. Listen. I'm not going to have to. He used to hear this shit, really. He used to hear it. Charlie comes to the diary room. And I'm just sick, but brother, I feel like I want to go home. I don't fit in with their group, don't you understand? They are in a group, they're all in a group. Maybe I've come in and acted like a total bitch and stuff, I don't know, maybe I have, maybe I haven't, but I'm just sick of it. Maybe it's time for me to get a taste of my medicine. Like, I was close with Shab, she's gone. I was close with Nikki, now she's gone. And I just fall on my own and I don't ever want to stay any longer. I'm being honest. The only person I'm quite close to is Tracy and... <laughs> she's not even like me. I mean, she likes me, but I mean, we're not even... I don't know. I liked talking to Nikki at this time. And I knew Nikki was going anyway, but over Jerry, come on. I'm not saying she was a hard person, but I just kind of knew she was going to be going for some strange, peculiar reason, do you know what I mean? Jerry gets more involved with things that we do. So I knew that Nikki would be going, and I had to face it all day. And she wasn't my best friend, obviously. I've got my friends when I get out of here. But while I live here, I just thought, like, I can't explain it. So, Charlie? Yeah? Big Brother's not suggesting it's easy. But wouldn't it make sense to explain to your fellow housemates, like you explained to Big Brother, how you feel? Wouldn't there be strength in that? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I can get on better with you in Zyra. Probably because I can't see her. And Nikki I could speak to, but I don't want to go out there to them. I'm upset. I told Amanda and Sam, and they was like, don't be like that, Charlie. We like you. I don't want to go tell Siggy, she didn't want all them, like, how I feel. Bollocks. Why should I? And make them feel, oh, she's crying and stuff. Just trying to act like that because Nikki's gone. I know what they're going to think. I thought I was strong in this, but I clearly ain't. I just think I've had enough. Seriously. I shouldn't have come back in the house when I had the chance. I should have said, no, we're not come back in. What for all these, all these fake, crazy bunch of people that do not like me? They're in their little group. I don't fit in their group, can you not see? I dance on my own. I hang around on my own. I'm sick of it. What time is it? It's sexy time. That's it. What time is it? <laughs> what time is it? It's sexy time. <laughs> Saturday, day 53, 10.23 p.m. It's been over 24 hours since Nikki was evicted from the Big Brother house. Chanel, Sam and Amanda are in the bedroom. This is Big Brother. The hatch is now open for housemates to collect alcohol. <laughs> Me up, baby. Ooh, you better oh sign me up. Better sign me up. Red wine! Ah! Oh, it's freezing. Oh, we didn't get much, though. Is that mm. it? Is this it? Mm. I expect a huge rock. Why don't we make, why don't we make a punch? Yes. Yeah, we should make a punch. Let's do it. I'm not even right. joking, you know. Yeah, it's like, come on, we, we should make some punch. Get a big old bottle. Let me get more. Charlie, Tracy and Carol are in the garden. Does everybody want to make punch, yeah? What? Um, what what drinks have punch? we got? Not much at all. Um, red wine, oh. white wine and two cans. Yeah, do that. Is that again. it? Punch. Yeah. What, are two cans? Carol's got some drinks. Two cans? Still do you want to go in, girls? Just a little beer what? on the top. Yeah. Shall we all go in? What about the punch, though? Yeah. Apparently, yeah. I'm not asking for more. Oh, are you going to go? Let's go. You asked for more. Hi, big brother. Is there anything you'd like to talk to Big Brother about? Alcohol! Oh, alcohol. When do we alcohol. alcohol! When do we want it now? now? Whistle for some alcohol! Woo! 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 Woo. Woo. Bows! Pretty, Pretty please! please. I'm sorry about them annoying you with that Big Brother, but seriously, we actually do need some more bows. Because we'd be really happy if you did. That good, Brian? Yeah, it is okay. We need a big <laughs> bottle of white lightning, really. 
It's at least... Like, Probably more than one, really. Yeah, okay. We need at least Ten. three of them. Yeah. We all secretly fancy other members of the house, <laughs> and alcohol would bring out some huge... Animal passions. Huge animal and Liam passions. and Brian will strip in the pool. Stories. <laughs> you sure? No. Sam and Amanda will. <laughs> yeah. Housemates, Big Brother has noted your request for extra alcohol. Cheers, buddy. But go to the best place by cider. Oh, he's not going to even do what we ask. Right, see you soon. 11.35pm. Sam, Amanda, Chanel and Brian are at the sofas. The only G interview that he's done with David Victoria. What did he say about the skate thing? I forgot. What did he say about when David Beckham went out in that sarong? Got now, I forgot that Why bit. Did David Beckham oh, do that? yeah, that's it. He said, You wore a skirt, and he was like, Yeah, I know it's so wrong. And he was like, Yeah, I know it's so wrong, but. So wrong, that's yeah. Yeah. So wrong, that's it. <laughs> what else does he say? <laughs> so wrong. <laughs> He's so revised that. Some of the housemates are in the garden. What, what is it? I feel like this feels terrible. You alright? Yeah. I just think that. Uh, Go on, talk, talk. No, I just think I've been a bitch because rather than that, my like my real size, I've just been a bitch and I've probably been covering it by saying, "Oh, I meet all these celebrities, I go here, there, and everywhere." It's just pathetic, really. Whoa. Well, it's what you do, but if, if you think it is pathetic, then no, but not. it's not what I do. It's not pathetic, but you know what I mean. It's kind of like I could be more myself and talk about my life rather than being a total not a bitch. And sometimes you've seen a nice side of me, you've seen the horrible sides, whatever. I know that. It's just, I don't know. It takes two to argue. No, but I that? have been a bit more argumentative, and I know that. But I can't believe I've been this argumentative, considering when I'm out here, I'm not like this at all. Yeah. I can't believe this side's come you're out of You're not happy well, You were probably it's... bored as well. Brian has come to the diary room. In his house, mate, I'm just trying to take everything on the chin. Take, just to try and take everything on the chin and just deal with everything well. And if I go this week, I've been here six weeks and deal with that, you know? I, I always think the worst, always. I think that you, you can't think the best. I can't ever think my place is safe in this house. And no, I'm having a good time. Like, I've got to know some people really well. The twins are really good. Me, the twins and Chanel are all around the same age. And we're all around the same sort of... We'd all, I think if we was in the outside world and we met each other, we'd all still be friends. Where the, the other boys are a bit older, they're more used to a different sort of conversation than what we're used to. Not, 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 not in a bad way, but they probably think our conversations sometimes are pretty trivial. I do fancy Amanda, but the thing is, I don't really think that, like, nothing can come of it. She, she just sees me as a friend and stuff, and I, I don't see anything coming of me and Amanda together, so I just got to really just enjoy our friendship. And sometimes, especially when you, sometimes they say you, don't, you would like a bit of female company and stuff, it would be nice to be like, hmm. And especially you go to the person you fancy the most, and it's Amanda, so really, truly, every time I get a bit, I don't know, get riled up and start getting a bit toey, I'll start looking at Amanda. But I've got to remember that, that I've lived with her 24-7 and maybe she doesn't fancy us, you know? So I'll deal with that. 12.13 a.m. Ziggy, Chanel and Carol are at the sofas. What was Charlie on about earlier outside? Just about thinking that she hasn't been a good person here. It's taken her ten weeks to realise it. Most of the housemates are in the pool. <laughs> Chanel and Ziggy come to the diary room. I think she looks particularly hot today. Got no makeup on, I'm wearing combat trousers. That's what I like. It's El Natural. And that's Chanel. That works. <laughs> Chanel, how do you think Ziggy looks tonight? <laughs> Don't embarrass me. <laughs> Don't be like I that. think Ziggy looks hot every single day ever. Ever? No, I don't think so. You do. Mm. Yeah. Today, he, and last night, right, he had this brown shirt on, no, brown jumper on over a white shirt, and I was like, whoa, whistle for a hearty, woo, 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 and then he took it off, and I was like, you fucking loser. Anyway, oh. kidding. And then, today, he went in the shower, and I was just laid in bed, 
with extreme cr stomach cramping. Mm. And he came over in jeans, with a white top and a blue shirt over the top, and I was like... You're making me embarrassed. The two of you, seriously, you've got to stop this kind of thing. I think Ziggy looks gorgeous every single day. Thank you, and I think Chanel looks gorgeous every single day. Hmm. I'll keep my hands off it. Can you give us a date, big brother? Can we have a date? What kind of a date would you like? Hot one. Oh, yeah, hot one. <laughs> my mum and dad's probably going to kill me right, right about now. Careful. But a sexy time date, please. No, thank you. Sorry, Mum. It's a nice meal. Don't knock me back like that. Yes. No, that's what I mean, a nice meal. All we want is like a nice meal in a room. And then like a we could have Pauline's bedroom. Yeah, Pauline's and bedroom. And we could we could set half of it out as like a table with a nice meal and then we could sleep in there for the night. That'd be lovely. What Here. time is it? It's sexy time. That's it, what time is it? <laughs> what time is it? It's sexy time. On those nights maybe when they get takeaways, everyone else could have a takeaway and we could go away for a day. Mm, that'd be lovely. Want it. Very good. Oh, just find out how lovely things still are by getting bang up to date with Big Brother. There's some live action next as we go in for the night. <laughs>